Mercenaries 2. We're working on the outpost. Double A Gamer for Life, Demented Priest. Okay, so we're going after our third UP outpost, and the reason why the outposts are so important is they that get us our upgrades that we needed, mostly the fuel upgrades, and <clears throat> that's top on our list. And a lot of the outposts will have these side missions, which we're doing everything, so that'll get done as well. But for the most part right now, we're just concerned about unlocking all the outposts and getting our fuel upgrades. Okay, and in the previous videos, I mentioned along the way, we're going to take time, or I am, to get out of the vehicle and blow the hell out of some billboards. Because it's 5,000 a billboard, and you need about 50 of them to unlock the tank buster from the PLAV. Okay, the tank buster is definitely I'm a go-to airstrike. Uh, later in the game after Misha becomes a, a not a playable character but one of your crew members but uh, anyway the enemy is here. Uh, when I pretty much run around uh, you, you get three my slots and my two slots is basically the tank buster the air combat patrol which basically means uh, It'll take out any helicopters in the air, so if you're getting hit by an enemy helicopter, just call in Misha or whatever faction you bought it from will come along and take out any helicopters. And then the third one is the one that I uh, rotate, uh, whether supply drop, airstrike, uh, whatever vehicle. But those two I keep in my inventory pretty much all the time. As you can never tell, you're out trying to do something and. Uh, we only have two weapon slots, so you can't really carry an anti uh, anti aircraft missile. Easy money. Another it's just not uh, feasible. There's always a chance you might be able to hit it with an RPG, but uh, anyway, that's uh, the way I pretty much roll it. Uh, me and Demented kind of thing. Now, see, he's playing in my game, so in order for him to have stuff, I have to take him to all the outposts to buy stuff as soon as he comes in. And uh, sometimes it's just not worth the effort. So I'll just give him what he needs, but pretty much all the strikes are done by me. And of course, uh, as we're hitting outposts, uh, he can buy stuff if he likes. He's got like more money than he would know what to do with. But anyway, uh, later on when we get into the HVTs, uh, there's always a chance that the guy might die and we're trying to get him all out alive so we have to reload the game and then he'd have to go back to all the posts to rebuy stuff so when we're doing the HVTs I basically just give him what he needs RPG, rifle, uh, that kind of stuff. I'm always constantly dropping supply drops as far as C4 and RPG ammo and that kind of thing. And of course the uh, Whenever you're running around, there's usually a lot to be had to. The enemies drop a lot of ammo and that kind of stuff anyway, so. That unlocked the, the attack two helicopter from the PLEV. It's a pretty Another decent helicopter, down. so that is why we're Situation taking the time to blow up billboards. So. Friendly sighted. I'm getting out of here. Okay, so this outpost is a little bit more heavily defended. Uh, there's a tank out front, and there's pretty much no way to keep the guard towers from coming alive, and the building's turning red, so we are just going to do what needs to be done. But before heading in there, I'm going to re ammo. Here you go, boss. Put it to good use. Got four C4 here, so I'm good on that, but I'm going to go ahead and. Re up the RPG. Right. 
Bring on the tanks. All right, we are stocked up. Well, this thing has a grenade launcher. I doubt it's gonna hold up long. Uh, like I said, there is a tank out front. Uh, the beginning of the, the compound's got a little roadblock action going on. And like I said, the, the guard buildings will become alive. So we're gonna have to deal with that as well. our ride probably from that tank most likely yep place weapon fine throw a beacon down a little bit of artillery soften the front door up a little bit Taking a little bit of breather here and letting Demet to do some work up in there. blowing right up next to you. That's never a good thing. Fire in the hole! So we got a pallet of money up there. 100,000. I think it'll take a climb up the ladder to go get that. Hey, you. How'd you like to make a quick buck?
for a pickup. Calling the boys to take this uh, outpost over. Roger. Got a Strike hidden pack or uh, part package there, but we're not here to collect that at this particular time. Okay, got all the UP outpost unlocked now. Get our pipeline achievement. This game was really easy to get most of the uh, achievements in uh, one playthrough. Uh, exception on getting all the HVTs out alive, that's uh, something you have to work a little bit harder at. But uh, if you follow the videos, it shouldn't be a problem. Mostly just saving uh, after every HVT, and if uh, he dies, just reloading the game and continuing on to get him out alive. All right, we'll see you on the next one. Double A Gamer for Life, Demented Priest.